India has a long tradition of looking at the sun from the ground. In fact, uh, from Kodaikanal Observatory, we have been observing the sun for more than 100 years. And also we have beautiful, you know, a solar observatory at Udaipur, in the lakeside, and at Nainital. We are looking at the sun. But there are limitations of looking at the sun from the ground because you can only see the lower atmosphere of the sun. So this was very, very important that we could go to the space. And this is a fantastic opportunity. Originally, more than 10 years back, we were only looking at a small satellite program. And then Professor Yuar Rao suddenly came up with this idea, why are we taking baby steps? We should think big. We should go to much longer distance. And then this opportunity came in, the Lagrangian one mission, the entire country, all the scientific institution got very much highly motivated. There are multiple payloads were then proposed. So eventually now we have a Lagrangian one observatory class mission. And as you heard from my colleagues, that it is a multi-wavelength observatory. So that's very important to have the shorter wavelength coverage from the space. And in addition, the ground-based observations are also important. So a combination of the ground-based telescope and the space-based platform is very, very important. And since you asked about the question about the, you know, how Aditya in the overall heliophysics uh, research uh, uh, within the international scenario, we only have three uh, an spacecraft around Lagrangian one point, from primarily from NASA and ESA. So I think again, this is a, a fantastic achievement from India if you could reach L1 uh, with the full observatory class mission it will really open a new window altogether so I think this is a great opportunity and we are all looking forward and as I mentioned probably we will request that you know a better ground-based facility we have already projected a national large solar telescope project from the ground I think this is now high time we have a very nice uh, ground-based telescope also to complement the capabilities of Aditya L1.